yawned on live TV. Explain, what were you on? You weren't naked attraction, was it? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I was a choir boy and it was Christmas Day and I was on Songs of Praise and it was like half five in the morning and I was very tired and there was this lady doing a lovely sermon in front of me and I was in the back and yawning. On a live TV. You got a lot of R's there just for being on that show. There we are. There we are. That's Greg, everybody. Give Greg a nice big round of applause. Our live yawner. Now, Greg, that's us have to run off because you've got your cabaret over here. So you head off. Let's go one more time. Let's see for Greg, everyone. He's got his cabaret in about just over 15 minutes' time. So we'll wrap this up. We can whip upstairs and we're going to stay up and party, aren't we? Yes. To be fair, I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take you over and run. Now, this is Emily, one of our fantastic vocalists. Emily, where in the world are you from? North Wales. <laughs> God, there's a few oohs. Eh? Fantastic, okay. Uh, Emily, tell us something about you that's interesting. What, tell us, tell us something. I am really into crochet. Oh, any crocheters out there? Or knitters? Anyone? No, we'll, we'll be doing knitting now, sir. <laughs> Lindsay's doing that. It's been busy, Lindsay. Six people, six people. Okay, crochet, what, what do you make? So I've made quite a few different things. I've made, Greg, I made him like a sweater vest that was quite cute. I've made stuffed toys in the past. I've made tops, I've made hats. Yeah, a few different bits. And uh, if you pop to eBay, she's got Emily Travis <laughs> Crochet. Uh, if you fancy popping along, that's a nice little, little plug there. There we go. Later, this is a nice big round of applause for Emily, everyone. And of course, don't forget Emily is in charge of our book club. So next C day, fancy coming on to the book club, Emily is your gal. Is it another C day? It is another C day, Wally. Yeah. You didn't look at the planet, did you? <laughs> Unbelievable. There is definitely another C day, I know about it. Okay, next up we've got Ben here. Ben's one of, one of our wonderful dancers. Ben, where are you from? Leicester. Well, that was a little bit depressing, wasn't it, really? But fair enough. No one in from Leicester. We've been some you lose some, didn't you, Ben, eh? Ben, tell us something about you. Um, so I feature in the Ambassador advert. Oh, my. Well, I've heard only the most handsomest of men feature in the Ambassador <laughs> advert. <laughs> I'm featuring it, too. There you go. Okay. So what do you do in the, in the advert, for anyone that hasn't seen it? Has anyone seen it? Yeah. Some of you have, yeah, the majority have. Tell us about what you what you do in it. Uh, I run down the banister with the girls sliding down it. I um, do a little lift in here. Yeah, we do a little bit there. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you'll have to get on YouTube. There we are. Search Ben Ambient Advert, and then I'm sure it'll come up. That's the cruise line. And I have, my mum's actually recorded it on a TV. Uh, so your mum has as well. Ah, oh, mums are the best, isn't they? Yeah. They really are. Uh, well, look out for Ben on the Ambassador Cruise Line advert. Let's give a nice big round of applause for Ben, everyone. Okay, next up we've got lovely Ella. Ella's our show cast leader and, of course, a wonderful dancer. Ella, where are you from? Huddersfield. Oh, okay. We, we eased in there. Suddenly, there was a few little woos. Okay, Ella, tell us something about you. Um, outside of performing, I'm a personal trainer and Pilates instructor. Oh, okay, so you're into your fitness. Is anyone out there into their fitness? Oh, <laughs> tough crowd, tough crowd. We've got the lazy ones in tonight, there we are. <laughs> That's fine. We won't see you at the gym. It's been quite this cruise at the gym to be fair, isn't it? I saw you in there today. Tell us what you're what you doing. What's your regime? Oh, well, it, Tell us, what were you up to? It was cardio day okay today, so we ran. We did 5k run, and then we did some car to finish. Well, that sounds like hard work, didn't it? Now, rather than just relax, rest, folks, there we are. A uh, personal trainer, uh, what other strings have you got to your bow? And Pilates as well. Of course, you could do Pilates on this ship with Ella on some days this cruise, so look out for it. Look out for it. Is it, is it tomorrow, you say? Is it tomorrow? Is it in the morning? 9.30? Anyone going to come? Yeah. 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 But if you do, uh, you'll see Ella later. Let's do a nice big round of applause for Ella, everyone. We've got lovely Lindsay, one of our vocalists on board. Lindsay, where are you from? I'm from Newcastle. Yay! Oh! Newcastle's winning! It's winning, I can't believe. Fantastic. Okay, Lindsay, tell us something about you. Uh, I'm distantly related from the guy that Billy Elliot is based on. You got an ooh there? You got an ooh? Okay, how so? Um, so his name's actually Brian, um, and he's my mum's ma <laughs> second cousin. Um, yeah, so grew up in China with my mum, uh, and now he lives in Milan, in Italy, and is part of 
I think I'm going to go to the Scala dance academy in Italy and works over there. Fantastic. Do you get any free tickets to the theatre or show or anything? No, I've never met him. Unbelievable, there we are. Well, they're related, that's all that matters, isn't it? A claim to fame. Let's hear it for Lindsay, everyone. Lovely, let's go and find Lindsay. Oh, you're such a musician. This is weird. Usually you're at the end. This is so strange. Lindsay, let's hear it for Lindsay. Oh, you're such a musician. This is weird. Usually you're at the end. This is so strange. Okay, this is Gabby. Gabby, tell me where you're from. Liverpool. Well, that was weird. That was a weirdo. I can't, that was quite. But you're still winning. Don't worry. You're still winning, Lindsay. Uh, Gabby, all the way from Liverpool. You're going to Liverpool this cruise. Are you excited? Very excited. Very excited. What are you going to do in Liverpool? I'm going to see me mom. And I'm going to get him. He's like, what are you going to do? I'm going to go and surprise everyone at the pub that I worked in before I got this job because I was really close with them. So we're just going to go in, see his work, and then hopefully they'll want to hook me and scream at them. Ah, oh, that would be nice, fantastic. And tell us something interesting about you, Gabs. Um, it's, I thought about this. It's funny that I'm singing now because I was actually going to in death, so I couldn't pitch anything. So, but I had an operation on it and now I'm a singer. I just think that was so funny when I thought about it. There you go, that's quite impressive. Let's see if we can everyone. Up in stage, hey. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got lovely you in here. You're where are you from? I'm from the Gold Coast, Australia. We've got an Australian in, that man over there. He really cheered you there, fantastic. Okay, then, uh, well, you have tell us something interesting about the life of you. I kind of had a pet wallaby. <laughs> you kind of had a pet wallaby. Okay, explain the story. So I didn't really live in Barcelona, so I wasn't like a pet pet. But we used to have a wallaby that we used to feed, and it would show us its baby and say everything, and then, yeah. Show you its baby? Yeah, so I used to... They come around, do you want to see my baby? Yeah. Well, uh, it would just pop it, pop it out. It pop it out, yeah. <laughs> have a look at this bad boy, that's my baby. So they just popped it out. Did you name it? No, of course. You didn't even name it? It's not a pet if you didn't name it. My dad might have, I don't know. Come on, wallaby. Come on, Wally would have been a good name, wouldn't it? Okay, so you have a pet wallaby. Any other pets? Um, I have a dog, we used to have chickens, we used to have ducks, but yeah. Not as cool as a wallaby though, is it? Yeah, there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you like wallabies, come and have a chat with you. And there you go. <laughs> Let's see a big round of applause for you and everyone. <laughs> yeah, that was right. right, okay, next up we've got Michael. Michael, where are you from? I am from ja All right, God, <laughs> <can't see you. laughs> uh, Some of them might fall asleep. God, blimey, okay. So we'll do that again. Michael, where are you from? I am from Johannesburg, South Africa. Oh, that's my That's his, that he's actually. No, where are you from? Not him, where are you from? He's not actually from Worcester. I've got a feeling they were pity cheers if you want to be there, Michael. Uh, <laughs> okay, you're from Worcester. What can we go and do in Worcester? What's exciting to do there? Oh, there's a cathedral, there's a river, there's a Great nightclub, Sin, if you ever want to go. All oh, these look like the, the lot to go to Sin. Sin <laughs> nightclub. What do they do at Sin? It's a nightclub called Tramps. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're sending it yeah. to us, Michael. <laughs> there we are. Make sure after this cruise, we'll all meet up and go to Tramps. <laughs> we'll all go on a night out in Worcester. Okay, other than having some conveniently named clubs in Worcester, is there something interesting about yourself you'd like to tell us? Who's laughing their socks off down there? Someone's going out and the gold down there. Go on. Um, so I was on Children in Need. Oh, you were a child in need. Really poor, isn't it? So um, basically I performed on there uh, in the choir. <laughs> Um, we should have rehearsed this, really, shouldn't we? We should have rehearsed this. I'm having a hot flush right now, too. No, so I, I sung Bridge Over Troubled Water with, with the West Midlands Choir. There was lots of choirs dotted around the country. And I was I was a little boy on, in the choir. How old were you when you did it? Uh, I think about 13, 14. <laughs> they just absolutely wrecked themselves over there. I don't know why, but I'm going to ask him at the end of the show. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's for Michael, everyone. And if you're lucky, you might see him on next year's Children in the Game. So there you go. All right, next up we've got Seppo. I think some of you might have an idea where he's from, but where are you from, Seppo? I'm actually from Johannesburg, South Africa. Yeah. Very good, very good. South Africa. Oh, you got a round of applause there. Yeah. That's yeah. nice, isn't it? That was, oh, there you go, that's nice. Uh, okay, Seppo, tell us something interesting about yourself. Um, I once worked as an economist. Ooh. I'd like to be clever enough to know what that is, but what, what, what did you do with that? 
Um, no, so basically, this is the boring part. I used to work for a clothing um, business, uh, a clothing company called True Woods, and I was in charge of helping them make sure that they have the right amount of stock at the right amount of time of the year, you know, that all the numbers balance, so they were never overstocked or understocked. Oh, blind, that sounds like. Have you had laughing gas over there? Can I get one? Can you pass this around? Right? Can you... Unbelievable. Okay. That sounds like a really tough job. How did you go from doing that to doing this? Um, I never wanted to be an economist, but my mother was like, you're going to have to. So I worked for a few months and it was like, I saw a cruise ship audition and I'm like, I'm gonna do, I, I want to sing. Amazing. And now you're doing this. Yeah. And now you're not counting clothes. So Fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Tepo, everyone. And last but not least. Okay, uh, next up we've got Erin. Erin's one of our dancers. Erin, where are you from? Manchester. Yeah, the blokes are in. <laughs> okay, Erin, Manchester, fantastic. Tell us something interesting about yourself, and it's got to be true. I know you're lucky. Like, you've done a couple of fibs in the past. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm calling you out, Erin. I'm calling you out. I want a real truth that you can tell our guests. Say this is true. Go on, tell us. I have three rescue dogs at home. Ah, and what type of dog is it? Rhodesia and Ridgebacks. Ooh, very posh. Okay, what are the names? Chase, Cena and Cookie. Chase, Cena and Cookie. Okay, and you see them in Liverpool when you go out when you go into a back then? Yeah. All of them? All of them. Well, that'd be nice. I look forward to seeing them. Anyone out there got a dog? Yeah. If you have, give us a wolf. I can't believe you actually did that. There you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's a round of applause for Erin and all of our wonderful and the show company. Well, folks, thank you for stopping out. Usually half the room's left by the end of that, so thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow night we've got Abigail's party with your ambient uh, show actors. That's going to be in here. Something different, no singing, no dancing, just a bit of live theatre. We hope you'll come along and join us for that. Whatever you choose to do, enjoy your day tomorrow in Tobomori. We've got our cabaret upstairs starting right now. Head on upstairs and we'll see you on the dance floor. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time though, please be glad to go for the cast. So start by the dance floor.